Why are you jumping at me? Why? Who you mad at? Who? What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel on behalf of Britt. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Brittany. Why did I do all of that? I don't know. But today we're kicking off a weekend vlog. I have some hair appointments, but I also want to have some fun. So it's going to be a working vlog slash weekend vlog. I know some of y'all just want to see me do braids. So I do a lot of those braided vlogs for the people that are here for hair. But realistically, my life isn't just hair and it isn't just fun. I'm going to just give y'all all of me in this vlog. So um like i said hair appointments and then i want to try to enjoy my weekend it is memorial day weekend and in my opinion summer ain't officially start till memorial day like that's always the kickoff the pregame to summer so it's really time to pop out and do some things i'm not gonna be like outside like on the scene going into atlanta and partying or nothing i've really been craving a seafood boil i don't know what i want to put in the boil possibilities are endless mussels crawfish shrimp i'm thinking about blue crabs like every now and then i love snow crabs i'm a cluster girl but every now and then just the florida florida in me loves to get down and dirty in some blue crabs so i'm gonna go to the farmer's market the farmer's market that we typically get our seafood from they have the best seafood in my area so we're gonna run out do that i also want to make a real cute cocktail lately um y'all know crown is my go-to right so i love crown when it's time to take shots or time to get a bottle you ask me to bring a bottle nine times out of ten i'm bringing crown to the party um but i've been on that so much when i do have time to drink that i've gotten away from making my cocktails it's been a minute since i've made like a really cute fun cocktail and i feel like the kick off the summer is the best time to make a real cute fruity drink so i want to go to the liquor store i'm feeling like a mojito this weekend so i gotta get the stuff for the mojitos i have absolutely nothing um that a mojito requires in this house it's been so so long so i want to get that i don't know if i want to do orange mango or pineapple but we'll see when we get out in the stores so yeah y'all just come along with me i'm gonna hit the hair store hit the farmer's market hit the liquor store get everything i need for the crab boil or the seafood boil and then once i'm done with my client brianna everything will already be here we can just hop into cooking hanging out and just keep up because the weekend might get crazy from here excuse my hair matter of fact i've got this little claw because i need to pull it up um this hair get real stiff i think i told y'all in the vlog where i did this hair that this was really cheap this hair was like 20 23 dollars so it's real cute it does what it needs to do just like with bundles like human hair virgin hair when you wet it it's so pretty y'all but i don't have i don't need to do all of that just to go to the store um but yeah, i really been enjoying this style. I've been getting a lot of compliments. I need to freshen up my buns and like wet the back. So maybe y'all will see that in this vlog. I don't know. But yeah, we're just going to clip this up. I love this market, y'all, because anything that's on sale is always displayed on this digital screen as soon as you walk in. out of California oranges where are the Florida oranges here we are these are pretty good these look a little feisty I'm thinking about throwing in some blue crabs in our bowl y'all only the real Florida people the real crab eating people eat blue crabs why are you jumping at me why who you mad at? Who? I decided against the crabs because a lot of them look dead. So we just gonna go with crawfish. The crawfish are very much alive. Oh, they fighting me! Ah. Woo, that one got black stuff underneath it. Oh, oh. Yum. 
y'all, that's showing out in this bag. Okay, y'all, I think that's enough for four people. I'm tired of fighting with them. Thank you. Now I'm running in public, y'all, just to grab a few things, maybe three or four things that I wasn't able to get out of the farmer's market, like corn on the cob. I'm very specific about what corn I eat, and the farmer's market doesn't have that brand. So yeah, when you gotta purposely grab a mini basket so you don't go overboard. This is the corn I like, y'all. You get six pieces for $2.89, or you get this full family pack for $5. I decided to go with mojitos. I don't know if I told y'all that in the farmer's market or not, um, but my mojitos, when I make mine, I use sparkling water, and I'm going to try this brand called Sifo, Sifo, whatever, but I'm gonna get the tangerine flavor. So I'm gonna get two bottles of this for the mojitos tonight. So I basically got all the fixings from here, the potatoes, corn, eggs, I got some lemon pound cake, sparkling water, and a snack. Final store today, y'all. Let's grab the um, rum for these mojitos. I make my mojitos with rum, either Bacardi or Malibu. They both come in a lot of different flavors, mango, passion fruit, banana, strawberry, pineapple, but not orange. And I'm leaning towards doing orange, like I told y'all at Publix when I grabbed the um, sparkling water. Bacardi doesn't have an orange flavor either. So I'm leaning towards either doing a tropical Bacardi or just the original Malibu, the coconut flavor. Then we're going to get this mojito mix by Davies. I need some more triple sec for my home bar, but that's not what we're here for today. We got lime juice, mango syrup, peach syrup. Who would want a mint flavored syrup? Like, who would want this? This is the hair that I got for Brianna. It's the free trust that I normally use, the clean therapy, so it's pre-wrenched, anti-itch. The good thing about buying the hair for the client before the client comes is I get to go ahead and load my rack. She's getting feed-ins in the front, box braids in the back. I'll show y'all a picture of the inspo she sent me. Also from the hair store, I just grabbed a shining gem just because you can never have too much. So I separated all my hair that I'm going to use to do the feed-in braids in the front. But now I'm just taking the whole bundles and sitting up, up here. Because y'all know I work from the bottom up or from back to front, however you want to say it. Bottom up, back to front, same thing. But yeah, I work from the bottom up. So I'm going to be doing the box braids first. And when I do my box braids, I don't pre-separate that. Just right before every braid, I pinch away what I need so I can feel through the hair and get it precise. So yeah, I'm just going to put the um, full bundles up here up top so that I can conquer the back and then by the time I run out of this hair it'll be time to get down in there. And she took a can of whipped cream out and squirted it. She took a can of whipped cream and that lady sprayed that can and sprayed that can and sprayed <laughs> that can and stuff in her damn mouth. I said, ooh, some crazy ass individuals. Yeah. I'm vlogging and this is some funny stuff to me. My, my people be on drugs. I'm good, Auntie. People. And you out there clowning and taking pictures of her. All right. Just after hanging up with my mom, Brie ends up coming upstairs and I immediately start her hair. She ended up bringing a six pack of some Smirnoff that I never tried. So it was a cute little Friday appointment. We sipped, had girl talk, watched a good show. I braided her hair, I enjoyed her, I always do. And then it was time to clean up and get started on the food. So I first started to clean the potatoes and I put those on first because they take the longest to clean. Then I cleaned the crawfish, cubed the vein and cleaned the shrimp and we cooked as I started um, preparing the cocktail. 
and here is everything that I'll be using for the orange mojitos. I showed y'all bit by bit in every store what I was getting out of the market, out of Publix, out of the liquor store, but that's everything. I start off by doing the fresh squeezed orange juice, but I squeeze it in slices because I wanted to use the orange peels for garnish. Here's the mint. I had to rinse that off and pick the leaves off the stem, and then it's time to make the cocktail. So I got Kool-Aid packets out of the farmer's market and I'm hoping the Kool-Aid powder is the actual color of what the packet says because my idea is to trim the rim in orange sugar but I didn't want to buy any sprinkles out of there. They were overpriced in the farmer's market and I didn't know if I had orange sugar at home, sprinkles at home. So yeah, I'm going to do this orange Kool-Aid and then if that works out, I have Kool-Aid packets for cocktails I have in mind later this summer. So I got the peach mango, strawberry kiwi, and regular strawberry. This will be in other vlogs, but tonight, of course, we're using this for the orange mojitos. So I'm preparing the garnish for the glasses. I did a cute little curly orange peel look, and then here's the Kool-Aid for the rim. I found these really cute napkins and plates. Dollar Tree has a lot of cute summer stuff out right now. I found this like a week ago and thought it was cute for tonight's drink. So here's that. I go ahead and I shake up the cocktail, and after that, it's ready to pour. Once the cocktails are prepared, I go ahead and put the meat in last. It's always the last thing I cook, so I dump in the crawfish and shrimp. And once that gets going, it's time to start drinking and eating. The drinks turned out so good. I had about three mojitos. Cheryl had about four or five. We just kept making them back to back. They were so delicious. We got the hookah going. We kept going back for crawfish all night long. The pot was just steaming and we just ate all we could eat. Hey y'all, so it is the morning after. I just got through disinfecting my room, taking clients in my hair. I'm taking clients in my hair. Taking hair, my <laughs> taking my clients in my room today because I have a cousin in town and she's like stretched out like the living room areas where she's been sleeping. So doing hair in here today is pretty much a working day. So I'm about to do some knotless braids. I want to say after that my complex is having like a pool party. They cleaned the pool, put new furniture out there, like revamped everything. So they're doing like a grand opening for our new pool. Um, this today. Um, pizza, wings, candy, like they sent us all emails and posting flyers all around telling everybody to come out. They're going to be having, they're going to have pizza out there for four or five hours, all you can eat. I'm going to be in here working, but I'm going to try to slide. Hold on real quick. Hello? Hey, it's Monica. Hi, Monica. How are you? Okay, um, you don't see, I had to pause the video because what I'm not going to do is give y'all instructions on how to find me. But yeah, um, my complex is doing a pool party today. I want to try to slide out there in between appointments and get me some free food because they owe us that. Mm -hmm. I also want to go to Goodwill. I've been cleaning out my closet, getting rid of a lot of clothes I either can't fit, don't wear anymore, brought but never wore, maybe like for a theme party or a theme event. Um, or maybe wore it once so it's gently used but instead of trying to go find places to sell it like play-dohs and play around with them I'm gonna just donate everything so um if I can get all of that bagged up today we'll go to Goodwill today but other than that we're gonna be right in here braiding this is a first time client as y'all can see she needed direction so I don't really know if I'm gonna vlog her very first appointment with me that's kind of rude first time meeting her camera in her face now nah. so we'll see i might do like a overall outcome of how it turned out but other than that i'll catch up with y'all later mm -mm. oh and if i was looking this way y'all it's because i'm looking at myself but the camp yeah my client chose box braids over knotless when she found out the lifespan of knotless i didn't vlog my second appointment but we ended up eating q got the memorial day vibes going early she ended up cooking so we ate we drank we missed the pool party but this is a great alternative good foods wine coolers good vibes good drinks a good saturday oh sorry for that glare from my window let me turn y'all this way Ooh. okay is that better Hopefully, I'm not going to be in this position long. Just wanted to tell y'all it's Sunday fun day. And typically, on a light day like this, I would get out and about. 
but because I've been turned the past two days, I think I'm going to just stay in today and really handle that stuff. I need to take the Goodwill. Right now, I have stuff spread it all over my floor. I've already started removing stuff from my closet that I know for sure I don't want, but it's a lot of stuff I got to sort through that I may or may not want to let go of yet, but I do know I need to get rid of a lot of stuff. Um, my closet has just become very ridiculous. Um... It was stuff that I never should have even brought into this apartment when I moved in. Clothes that I had worn back in college that I haven't touched in years. Um, and then on top of that, the past three years that we've been here, I've been accumulating a lot of stuff. So it's now to the point where I got a full walk-in closet and can't even walk in it. It's bad. So I'm finally just taking the time to bag up a lot of this stuff and get rid of it. But first, I got to knock out two appointments. I have two very quick and simple appointments. My client Chavis comes every two weeks to get his hair braided. He has like an afro or whatever. I think today he wants the Nipsey braid, so I'll probably just do four braids at an angle going back. Then after that, I got some feed-in braids, so I'm going to come back and sort everything out. I just want to show y'all what I'm dealing with. So right now my floor is just covered in clothes that I got to sort through. This big bag right here that I need to go through. Um, and honestly, I just need to cure this whole thing in Goodwill and say forget it because I haven't opened this bag in over two years. So I feel like if I haven't touched it in that long, I'm not missing anything that's in it. But we'll just have to go through it and see just in case. Hey y'all, I'm back. It was a quick and easy day. Now I'm just going through a pile that I'm calling my maybe pile because it's stuff that I it's nothing wrong with it. I just don't wear it, if that makes any sense. Like, it's in perfectly good condition. Like, a dress like this, there's nothing really wrong with this dress. I just haven't worn it in years. Like, it's a little off the shoulder. It can be worn to church, like, if I wear it on my shoulders, of course. It's just a little flowy, little floral dress that's been bagged up in that bag that I haven't touched. I had to cut my ring light on so y'all could see better, but... Y'all see, it's a cute dress, great condition, cute colors. I don't know if I just forgot about it or I don't really go places anymore where a casual dress like that is needed. Then I have this skirt that I've worn one time. I ordered it from Shein. It's kind of like pleated on the side with these little pearls. Um, and it's a cute winter skirt. I don't know if y'all can see that texture. But it's really cute with like a turtleneck or like a cream sweater. I've worn it before with a cream sweater. It's just that the skirt doesn't have any stretch. And I'm a little hippie, like really thick in the hip area. And this little band right here, it just doesn't have any stretch. So it be squeezing my gut. And I think I need to donate it to somebody that can truly fit it since it's too late for me to return it or anything. Um, so I have stuff like this, I, stuff like that. I got this real cute two-piece outfit that I found in that bag earlier this morning. Real cute, y'all. I don't remember where I got this from, but I know I've only worn it one time. I think I have a picture in this on my Instagram. Um, I don't remember where I wore it to. I think I wore it to a party, um, like a day party or something. But it's this really cute wide leg pants. It's super wrinkled now. It's been crunched up in that bag. And then it's this little off-the-shoulder top. Um, and I wore it one time to that day party, took pictures in it, and never wore it again. It's in perfectly good condition, but I don't know. Like, it's really cute. It got a deep v-neck. You can't really see, but like I said, I'll put the picture on the screen. Cute outfit. I think what happened was I washed it and put it in the dryer, and the pants kind of got a little high water a little bit. They still hit the ground. They just don't sweep the floor like they did when I before I washed them. So that kind of turned me off from wearing the outfit because the second time I put it on, I was like, dang, these pants are a little, a little shorter. But it's a cute outfit, so I think I'm going to just donate. I have this skirt, stuff like this that I've only worn one time. I wore this to my aunt's wedding. I think this was an Amazon purchase, y'all. I got so many compliments on this skirt at the wedding and when I posted the picture. If I have pictures still on my Instagram, I'll post that. But it's a really cute skirt with a lot of butterflies in it. Um, it was a vibe, but I don't see myself having an occasion where I'll ever need to wear this again. I'm going to show y'all two more things, and I'm going to just go ahead and start bagging this stuff up. I'm not going to play with y'all because I'm really trying to be productive. But I have this dress as well. Um, only wore it one time. You tie it in the back and like a bow. The back is out. It's really cute, really short too. Um, I don't know if y'all can see that, but real summary, it's just not my style anymore. Then I have this skirt. It's a pleated skirt. This was a Forever 21 purchase. I really was crazy about this skirt when I first brought it. 
um, my school colors, college school colors were orange and green. And I wore this in my graduation photo shoot when I graduated from FAM. It was one of my three or four, I think I did four outfit changes, but it was one of my looks for my graduation photo shoot. Perfectly good skirt, cute, but I don't think I would ever need it again. I don't know, like maybe if I dressed up for Halloween and did like a schoolgirl look or um, had some type of theme party where I would wear like a pleated skirt and be like a cheerleader or something. I don't know. But other than that, it just gave school spirit. So I brought it for that. But I think I might donate this to stuff like this, y'all. I'm just getting rid of it. I have piles and piles and loads and loads of stuff. And it's just getting overwhelming because as I'm buying new stuff and maturing, um, coming up on 30 in a couple years, like my wardrobe is changing. This is stuff I wore in a different phase of life. So... It sucks because I have so much memory, so many memories and a lot of these things, but I'm not doing anything with it. Y'all, this is the stuff I'm talking about. See, in the midst of me going through these piles and like throwing stuff off my out of my closet, off hangers, out of totes. I have a lot of containers like lit it. Y'all know like not Tupperware, but tote containers that you hold stuff in. A lot of my clothes are just sitting in that. And somehow this got buried in the back. I ordered this Shein package probably early April, mid-April. Some of this stuff I haven't even opened. And now it's been over 30 days, I believe. I don't even think I could return this stuff if I don't like it or I couldn't. I can't fit it. So I'm gonna just open a couple of these things with y'all so y'all can see the random stuff. Like this is the reason why I need to get rid of stuff because I keep doing stuff like this. Like here's a skirt, I believe. See? she in it was um their spring collection or something like festival collection i think it's a a little category on their site called festival but it's a neon green skirt it's a really pretty color the hips are out right here i'm trying to hold it up so y'all can see i'll put pictures in the models i haven't tried this on don't know if it's too small um but i'll show y'all what it looks like on the model because if i get into trying stuff on and doing a try on haul um I'm going to get distracted from what I need to do. I'm just showing y'all examples of what I need to make room for. So here's a new skirt. What is this? See, I believe this, this is a skirt as well. And I don't even know why I brought this. What is this? <laughs> Where am I going? It's really super cute. Um, I'll show y'all how it looks on the model. But it's this little... um little string up skirt it's a metallic bronze color i think i had in mind i wanted to get some it was either these nike dunks it's these nike dunks and it's these um air maxes that have like this bronzy color in it and i wanted to do like a real sporty summer look with it but i didn't want to just do jeans i wanted to make it kind of girly like more like me um, if I can find a picture of the shoes, I didn't end up ordering them. If they still have them online and not sold out by now, I'll put a picture of the shoes on the screen so y'all can see. But I think I ordered this skirt to go with those shoes. Ordered the skirt, never got the shoes, and I was going to do like a nude bodysuit or like a cream bodysuit with it. It would have really been a look. I might still go back and get those shoes if they still have them because I forgot I had the skirt just sitting in there. Real cute skirt. Um... This is a dress. Y'all got a couple summer vacations coming up. Y'all know summer is my season. Um, it's my birthday month in, uh, in July. I got a couple trips coming up. So this is stuff that I ordered for that. That's why I really didn't get into this bag like that because this is supposed to be for places I'm going. I'll show y'all what the dresses look like, but we'll do like a try on haul when I really start packing for those trips. I remember this dress. I remember ordering this. It was one that I had to have. Um, this is probably for vacation. Um, when me and my dude go on a trip, these two dresses are really sexy, so I don't see myself taking it on my other trip. But what else is in this bag? A pair of shoes. Why would I get these? <laughs> Probably just a vacation sandal. I have black sandals. I don't even know why. And they so cheap and cheesy looking. The sandal, this part right here is actually cute. The black part. But this feels like styrofoam. Like, if I step in mud, if it rains too hard, it's over with. Really like styrofoam. It's no, I could bend this in half if I wanted to. But I'll try to get a couple wears out of them. 
But other than that, it's just a bunch of stuff in this bag for that. I just wanted to show y'all how I'm spending my Sunday just bagging this stuff up and taking it out of this house. <laughs> I dropped everything off to Goodwill and that'll conclude this vlog, y'all. I love you. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.